Hello and welcome to episode 103 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on Bowery. Bow, I can't even say it now. Bowery. Oh. For, for all you rangers out there, well, Rainstorm will like this episode because she always plays a ranger in EverQuest. Whether we play EverQuest 1 or EverQuest 2, Rainstorm will always play her favourite class, which is the Ranger. So there we have it. We shall now cover bows. Of course, being at episode 103, it is long overdue. One would have thought that I would have done it long before. Anyway, here are first some details that apply to bows in Worm Unlimited. Bowery is the skill in creating bows. Well, there's something you don't didn't. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that speaks for itself. Bows are best made out of willow. So willow wood is the best wood to use. But birch bows are good too. The quality of the bow has an impact on the amount of damage done. Now, there's something that uh, you may read over in the wik Wikipedia. And yes, I have used the wonderful worm to extract a lot of the details um, but there's something that I've just told you which is easy to forget but remember it the quality of the bow has an impact on the amount of damage done now with uh, using bows and arrows which I'll get into in another episode with fletching there are many factors to factor in with using a bow okay this isn't your average just hack and slash or shoot an arrow game as well you know worm is deep and it has levels and layers within it that are important if you are interested in a particular subject that are important it has finer details and with bows not only is the quality of the bow a factor you've got different types of arrows then you've got the quality levels of them arrows you've got your skills uh, bow uh, not so much bowery but obviously the skills used in actually the combat anyway I've I think I believe I've made my point carrying on bows are not usable until they have been strung and you have some arrows in your inventory to fire bows come in three types there are short bows bows and long bows we will make all three of the bows because they're therefore it will be much nicer demonstrating each of the bows I can give you the details relevant to what's different with each one using the bow burry skill will train will train body control and mind logic so let's bring up the skills so what I'm saying here okay in your char characteristics this uh, bowery is a good way to raise your body control. Body control, remember, is used for um, riding mounts. So if there's a if you want to go riding that hell horse or that dragon that's been wiping everyone out on your server, and rather than kill it, you want to ride it. First, of course, you'd have to dominate it as a um, priest. But if you want to ride it, you'll need to get an unknown skill. <laughs> You'll need to get your skill up tremendously. So let's go with a scorpion, because I was killing some in the last episode. Let's say you think it'd be rather cool to ride one, but your body control's only at 20. Well, get making, get busy making them bows, because that's one way of raising your body control. Also, it will raise your mind logic. So here's the mind logic. Let's now take a look at that. Mind logic is one of my favourite uh, things, skills to get up. Why? Here, right here is the reason why. Because you can queue up more and more actions. So with five actions, you can have four queues. Uh, sorry, with 40 in your mind logic, you'll get five actions in your queue. I've currently got four. So it would be nice to get five. So there we go. That's the two uh, sub skills that it will train up body control and mind logic by training your bowery. Okay, moving on. 
The best way to train bowery is by making short bows, as you do not get any extra XP from making the bigger bows, the bow and the, the long bow. Uh, although you'll see it doesn't really matter because they all use the same weight. So you'll make, let's say for example, you'll make the small bows, the short bows, and then you will imp the bows. So the best thing to do is make, for example, about 20 short bows and then imp them all to 20 quality level. When they are all at 20 quality level, then imp them all to 40 quality level. Or, if you find that too slow, then just simply make 20 more bows and rinse and repeat, keeping imping them up to 20 quality level. And you'll soon see that you can easily progress through bowery. And you'll also, of course, be improving them two sub skills that I just mentioned to you. So, my friends, it is all good. Now, for the actual creation of a bow, let's get to the material. So we've established that the willow log is the best wood that you can use. How much willow do you need? You need two kilograms. So I have a 24 kilogram log. I can make 12 bows out of this one log. So you can see it doesn't take up much material. And it's the same for all three of the bows. They will all use two kilograms of this log okay so uh, so that's the material that we use the tool that we use is the carving knife and the same again for all three bows you will be using the carving knife failing to create a bow will result in 0 0.50 quality level loss from the quality level of the log used. So because my skill in bowery is one, I presume that I'm gonna get lots of failures. If I fail, I will lose 0 0.50 quality level. Oh, not wait, 0 0.50 quality level. So <laughs> there ain't a lot of quality level in this log that I've chose actually, it was a scrap log. And the reason I've done that is because my skill's so low. I don't wanna go wasting my high quality um, willow logs but anyway it should be interesting to see shouldn't it i mean is it going to go into minus once i get to zero i think not anyway moving on as i am at risk of waffling higher skill in this weapon gives more shooting options when used so the better you get at using a bow the more options that will open up now no, i haven't got the um i've rem oh, let's quickly bring it up So, okay, let's put it that way. So the more skilled you get with your bow, the more options um, you will get with using it. Let's just put this back to not defensive, normal. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on with that. Let's leave it for now. I'm drifting. I'm in danger of drifting. Moving on. Bows must be wielded in your hands to be fired. Well, there's something which I guess is pretty obvious, but it might be you wake up one morning and decide to try and see if you can fire a bow from your foot slot. Don't ask me, you know, all sorts of people try all sorts of weird and wonderful things. Anyway, the facts are you need it in your hands and not just one hand. Bows are two handed weapons and cannot be equipped unless both hands are empty and you aren't wearing a shield. Okay, first of all, the short bow. Let's make ourselves a short bow. So we'll bring up the recipe window and I'm gonna type in short. There we go, there is our short bow. Carving knife and a log. Now I have both of them items, so let's right click the short bow, add to the crafting window, and there we go, we've got the short bow. And that's rather cool there's all the other bows so as you can see the other bows are more difficult to make okay so you're going to get more success chance making your short bow while your skills low hence why it's best to use the short bows for grinding the bowery skill anyway let's try and create one let's notice observe the weight 
there you go so it's gone down just two kilograms the bow itself doesn't weigh two kilograms the bow weighs one kilogram plus you get your wood scrap which you can then use to either light your furnaces your forge or your oven or you can use your wood scrap to turn it into something else okay so that's our short bow one thing to mention as I make each bow there is one relevant thing to point out for each bow and that is the shooting distance the range from you to the mob or the creature I will in the last episode that I make on bows be making an archery target so I will show you the range more clearly with that but suffice to know for now with the short bow this weapon is best used at a five tile range so if you're fighting a creature make sure it's five tiles away okay just like that right now as you can see the bow is not usable okay because we need to string it but we'll I'll get to that first let's make the three different bows so next I want to make the normal bow okay so let's create again observe the size of the log and again observe it's exactly the same weight and uses exactly the same amount of materials okay next the shooting range this weapon is best used at 10 tiles range so the bow you have to be twice as far away from your target in order to get the best effect from your bow okay so you, you when you're talking about using bows you're going to be wanting to do it in a, a clear savanna area where it's just grasslands where you can see many tiles away especially for the next bow so let's now create the long bow okay observe the weight again you can see exactly the same amount of materials exactly the same weight so all three bows you are weigh the same and use the same material amount of materials to make okay shooting range for the longbow okay for some reason in my notes I don't think I even made a note but the shooting range for a longbow is 20 tiles away so it's handy if you've got a spyglass a spyglass is handed out in competitions in worm online but because this is worm unlimited i shan't even go there suffice to say if you want to use the longbow make sure it's an area where you have plenty of distance that you can see into so there we go that's the three bows okay now we need to make three bow strings one for each bow now because bow strings will be breaking quite a lot because your quality levels are going to be probably very low you're going to need to get in the habit of making quite a few bow strings if you go out hunting with your bow first hour however here are some bow string facts bow strings are needed to use bows it is made out of wemp fiber with a rope tool the quality of the bow string can affect the hit chance of the bow higher quality reduces the chance that the string breaks when the bow is used one is needed to create a bow trap oh we've not even got into traps yet i must do them at some point bow string is a very good very good for training rope making with as it only uses 0 0.13 kilograms each attempt okay so there's some details about uh, bowstrings and you should know about the bowstring because I believe in the rope making episode I mentioned about using them to train that skill and like I said the quality of the bowstring can affect the hit chance of the bow so bear that in mind if you're missing a lot okay you've no one to blame but yourselves for using a low quality bowstring okay the gamester has told you higher quality reduces the chance that the string breaks if you're out hunting and you keep going through your bowstrings increase the quality level and then hopefully fingers crossed bow crossed you won't break as many okay time for us to make some bowstrings now just in case you don't remember to get first of all the but the wemp fiber 
get a stack of WEMP plants, right click and crush. That then turns it into WEMP fiber. Okay, let's do this through the recipe window as it is so nice to use the recipe windows. So I'll type in bow. Oh, and let's just try string. There we go. There's the bow string. And as you can see, it's going to use the rope making skill. Oh, I got 3.53 in my bowery. That's cool. So you see, it's nice and quick to go up. And I've been getting my sleep bonus up, you may observe. I'm at the max, five hours. Okay, so here it is. I've got a rope tool. I've got WEMP fiber. So let's right click on the bowstring, add to the crafting window. What I will do, grab all the WEMP fiber, put it in there, and then click the combine. So that puts it all together. And now let's create some bowstring. So I'm going to create four. Why not? 68% chance so it should be easy to do. Let's create. Okay that's one. Not a bad quality level. Oh that took a hit. I'm glad they're difference in, there's a difference in quality levels um, because I'll be able to demonstrate that. Okay so let's put them in that order. So I've got a nice quality one and I've got some low end ones. Okay, that's our bowstrings made. What do we do with them? All well and good having bowstrings, but what do we do with them? Okay, let's close the recipe window. We've done with that. To string our bows, for the short bow, I will use Well, trouble is there's too many trees around here for me to demonstrate anything but the, the short bow, but I'm not going to fire them. This is only for stringing. Okay, for my short bow, though, I will go with a 15 quality level. Activate your bow string. Right-click the bow that you want to, to uh, string, and then left-click string. You'll see it progresses through stringing. Do we get any skill gain for this? I'm not even sure. Possibly, but I don't know where it is. Anyway, so once I've strung the bow, we can see it down here now. And if I ex well, first of all, if you want to know if a bow is strung or not, you see the bow there, you see the bow there. There is not a difference in the graphics as far as I can see between an unstrung and a strung bow. How do you know if it's strung? Right click and you'll have the option to unstring it. Besides the fact that if you've got arrows and you're not shooting them arrows, you'll soon come to realise that there's something amiss. Right, okay, next let's string the bow. And for the, that one I'll use the 31 quality. So let's do the same again, string. Here's the skills that we'll be using when we are fighting creatures. Do not expect, okay, so you've, we've made all three bows. Let's imagine this is you. You've made all three bows. You go off out into the wild because you decide now that uh, you are legless, let's say, or legless. And you go out into the wild and you find a little rabbit or a chicken or whatever, the weakest creature, and you start shooting arrows and you're missing lots and you don't kill it with one shot. Or you find a troll and you start peppering it with arrows but you don't kill it with one shot because you'd like to one shot it like you can in EQ or used to be able to in EQ. Anyway, you don't one shot it. Bear in mind, okay, that your skills are low, all right? At a, at, with a skill of one, I'm not even going to tickle a chicken, okay? I'll probably have to use a thousand arrows to even give it 1% damage. So bear that factor in mind, all right? This isn't, like I say, a hack and slash with no fault behind the skills. There is a great deal of fault behind each skill in this game. If you want to be a master with the bow, you first have to reflect that with your skill level in the bow. You have to reflect that with the quality level of your bow. And 
the quality level of your string. Now, if you've got an 80 quality level short bow, an 80 quality level bow string, and you have 80 in your short bow skill, I would love to hear from you as to what type of damage you are doing on different critters. Of course, there are possibly other skills that factor in, but off the top of my head, that's the skills to mention. So the long and short of all what I'm saying to you is, okay, do not get disappointed with bow damage when you first start out with bows. Expect it to be very low. Expect it, like everything else, to take time for you to get good at it and for getting good damage. Okay, so there we are. Right, let's put the 50 quality into my long bow and string it. Again, it's a one quality level bow, so it's really low. Notice that even when the bow has been strung, you can still imp them, you can still improve them. And yes, I'm gonna get into a bit of bow play. I've decided I'm gonna go hunt some creatures. I'll probably train my bows, bow skills on bison. Not my poor bison, of course, but all the bison that have spawned on my island because they tend to move slowly. So I think that sounds like a marriage made in heaven, a bow and a really slow moving creature. And because it's partly desert down the end of my island, I should be able to see them five times away. Anyway, I hope that I've um, clarified at least a little how you make your bows, how you string them, and what to expect at the beginning of using your bows. Like I say, like everything else, you're gonna need to train it up. But anyway, I have not shown you the half of it yet to do with archery because we need to get into fletching next. But that's another episode, and hopefully it will be a good one. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. Goodbye.